welcome back and now this time we're going to work on the search option okay there are many um, ways to um, do the search let's say you can use search um, configuration searchable configuration so that um, the search text box is going to appear here and you're going to have a search icon gonna appear here for you to search um, but I think I'm just gonna make a um, simple uh, I think I'm just gonna make a simple um, uh, approach Okay, in order to um, um, search, which is I'm gonna create a text view here. Okay, I'm gonna create a text view here, edit text here, and a button here um, um, to do the search. So um, <coughs> we're gonna do the layout first. We do the layout first. So if we click on, if we click on um, projects, then we're gonna look at our um, load activity. For this load activity, there is only one view. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this one into linear layout. Change this one to linear layout. Then I'm gonna add um, one properties for this, which is I'm gonna add the um, orientation for this is vertical. Then from this list view, I'm going to add in another linear layout. So I'm gonna add in another uh, um, 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 horizontal uh, linear layout above of this list view. Okay, so you will see that we have another um, linear layout here. We have another linear layout here. Okay, linear layout because because I'm I'm, I'm gonna use this um, horizontal uh, linear layout because I'm gonna put two things inside it. Um, because I'm gonna put two things inside it. The uh, first thing I wanna put inside it is a uh, um, text field. Okay, is a uh, text field, which is a plain text, which is on the it's supposed to be on the um, linear layout. Let it, let us check if it's on a linear layout or not. Uh, okay, it's not on the um, um, that linear layout. So I'm gonna cut that edit text, cut that edit text, and paste it here. Okay, paste it here. This must be the um, inner linear layout that I added just now, on top of the list view. So we'll see that one is here. Okay, and then I'm gonna place inside that linear layout a uh, button. So I'm gonna place there a button. The, and I see that button doesn't appear there, so let's just see the button. Okay, the button appears here. Okay, the button appears here. Okay, then this one is grab content. This um, edit text is match parent. I'm gonna change this one into um, grab content. Okay, this edit text change into grab content. Then let's just look at the design. So inside this linear layer, we're gonna have a text field and uh, and and, and um, a button, a button and a text field, and um, we're gonna prefer this um, text view, edit text. We prefer this edit text, okay, to take all the free available space. So we gonna do what we're gonna do here is we gonna do here is we gonna put um, a weight for the layout it, it is equal to one. So if you get back to this one, you'll see if for that linear layer, the text view is take all the available spaces, okay. So if you double click on this one, you can change this button into search. And this one is button search. Okay, and this one is button search. And I'm gonna um, I'm change this one text for that edit text. I'm gonna put um, um hint, which is um, um input um a name to search. Okay, input a name to search. So if you get back to this design, you see there is a hint here. Input a name to search. That's good. So um, and we're going to double click on this one. Change this edit text to txt keyword. Okay, txt keyword. Then double click on this one, change the button. I've already changed the button search. Double click on this one, change the name in txt keyword. Okay, now we're going to um, code the search processes. Okay, when we code the uh, search process, we're going to handle the database. So this one is product handles. We're going to uh, write the code, <coughs> public points, um, 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 uh, search, search, search product by name and you're gonna put string keyword over there okay once you have the keyword you're going to take the database dot query okay um, um, it's gonna return this result okay it's a cursor oh not points it's cursor so you're gonna put this one as a cursor okay and cursor is the result of this query you're gonna query from the table which is table um, no, no, query from the table which is table product 
then um, the column that you're gonna select is a new um, array of string of columns the first is the ID column the second is um, a name column and the third is the um, quantity columns uh, next the selection um, condition we, we, we this time we're gonna use the search so we'll put the name like a parameter okay a name like a parameter and that parameter is I'm gonna specify is new string array of, 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 of values that parameter is, is the, the, the keyword but we use the like operation matching search so I'm gonna add the percentage before this one so as long as their name contains its keyword okay because we are using the matching pattern so as long as the name contains its keyword okay so I'm gonna add the percentage here so the name likes this keyword okay the name likes this keyword then <clears throat> we need to put the group by no group by you need to put having no having you need to put order by no order by okay done so this one done for the uh, searching this one is done for the searching so it's gonna return you list of products with the name looks like this with the name look like this name look like this okay. then uh, in the load activity in the load activity no sorry yep in the load activity we're going to code a method <coughs> public void on button search um, um, click view view okay on button search click view and we going to we are going to um, um, uh, 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 modify this load products method modify this load product method so you're gonna go to the declaration modify this load product so you gonna do this one if um, we need to access to the keyword okay access access to the keyword keyword if it is there so um, we're going to do um, 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 edit text okay txt keyword equal to edit text find view by id find view by r dot id dot txt keyword okay and then you'll do string um, keyword equal to um, 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 equal to um, um, txt keyword dot um, get text dot to string to string okay then you're gonna check if um, the keyword if not keyword no just if the keyword if the keyword dot is empty okay if it is empty we're gonna load all the we're going to load all the products okay if it is empty you're gonna load all the products else else our cursor is our cursor is gonna be able to um, product dot search product by name that one is the given keyword this one is simple right actually you can omit this okay you can omit this uh, the, the code will still work but I added this one just for clarity that if the keyword is empty okay then you load on products okay else else you're going to um, search by the given keyword uh, once more even if you don't give the keyword okay then you call this method and the keyword is empty it won't load on as well so this load on method is not needed for anymore we won't just keep it for clarity so right now if you click on search actually you just have to load the products again you just have to load the products again you just have to load the products again so if we run this one if we run this one okay if we run this one okay if we run this one and you'll see from here oh i have an error there no i don't okay click on load okay click on loads let's see okay and input a name to search let's say we're gonna put um um um, um, um one there okay if you search okay oh i haven't wired the search method to the search button so i need to wire the search method to the search button so this one copy this go to the load activity um, um, um go to the load activity activity load then for this click on that button click on this one click on this one will say on click 
enter, paste enter. See, so we wire the button, uh, the events to the uh, handler to the uh, button. Okay, so it will run this one this time now. If you click on load, okay, and you search one, okay, search and you have one over there. Okay, if you delete everything, if you delete everything, okay, and click on search, now it's everything. So if you click on, let's say, um, um, T, T, this one is only um, 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 3 and 2, uh, no, um, 1 over there. If you click on search, it's only 3 and 2. Okay, so this search worked well. So next part, I, I would like to do the modification if you want to is, and you can add the um, um, form to search when or why you type. So if you type, it's going to do the search automatically. In order to do this one, we can handle the events of this um, 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 text sphere, edit text. So you're going to click on this one. That one is that. We're going to get into the text. Sorry. Um, um, is that, um, um, that one is the load activity. That one is the load activity. Then for the um, 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 load activity, what is the load activity? This one. So inside here, you're going to access to the edit text okay access to the edit text so we're gonna access into the edit text there so you want to do um, it is actually this line of code so uh, take this line of code then you do txt keyword dot you're gonna set on key listener so when you type it, it's gonna raise an event for a key so you're gonna um, set the on key listener to on new on key listener, and it's gonna regenerate the method like this for you. Okay, and remember this one should return false. Then each time it's on key, you gonna just call the load products method. Okay, each time it's key, you reload its key again, reload its key or again, reload it. Okay, so if you run this one, so that load um, products method is powerful because it it is being used in, in um, different places. Okay, so um, if you click on load, and if you type um, O, okay, and only product one over there, it's, it's search automatically. If you click back, now it's automatically search. Um, and if you put T, then capitalize T, only two of them. Okay, or if you search for three, only this one. Okay, okay, only this one. Okay. So instead of and, and this time, this search button is not needed anymore. You should remove this one. Okay, if you don't want to, it's remove this one. Okay, because it's listed automatically here already. Okay, so um, I think that's it for for the that's it for the the, the that's it for the the, 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 the database application.